boys and girls, thank you for joining us today. I'm so happy to see you. Today, we're going to be talking about equal and unequal parts. Have you ever heard those words before? Equal, unequal, what do you think they mean? I'm going to help you learn the meaning of those words. What I'm going to show you are two pieces of card. Look at them. They're both equal. They're equal because they're the same size. They fit together perfectly. These are equal pieces. Let's look at these two pieces. They're different colors, but they're the same size. They fit together perfectly. So we say these are equal. These pieces are equal just like these two pieces. Do you like chocolate? Let's look at these two pieces, pieces of chocolate in the plate. Both pieces of chocolate are the same size, so we say they are equal. What does unequal mean? Unequal means that they're not the same size. If you see these two pieces of cards, you will see that they don't fit perfectly together. There are different sizes. So we say they are unequal. Chocolate again. Look at the two pieces of chocolate. Are they the same size? No, they're not. This piece here is bigger than that piece. This piece is smaller. So we say this is unequal. Now, we're going to look at a few shapes and objects. I want you to think very carefully. Remember what the words mean, equal and unequal. And try to decide if the objects and shapes that I'm showing you are equal or unequal. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's recap, students. Equal parts mean that the pieces are the same size and the same shape. They match each other exactly. Unequal parts mean the pieces are not the same size or the same shape. They do not match each other exactly. Let's look at some shapes and objects and see if you can decide if it's equal or unequal. Remember what we said equal and unequal means. Let's look at this shape. It's a circle. It's separated into three pieces. Is each piece equal or unequal? What do you think? You're right. It's equal. Each piece is the same size, so it's equal. Let's look at another shape. It's a circle, just like the other one. It's separated into two pieces. Is each piece equal or unequal? You decide. What do you think? You're right. Great job. It's unequal. This piece is smaller than this piece. Let's go to another piece. Another circle. We're dealing with lots of circles today. It's separated into two pieces. Is it equal or unequal? Are both pieces the same size? Think carefully. You're right. Great job. They're both equal. Wonderful. We're going to deal with a triangle now. Let's look at our triangle. It's separated into two pieces. Are the pieces equal or unequal? Are they the same size? Well done. They are unequal. This piece 
is bigger than the piece over here. Let's look at this one now. What shape is this? It's a rectangle. It's separated into two pieces. Is each piece equal or unequal? Tell me. Look carefully now. It's unequal. This piece over here is much bigger than the piece over here. So we say this is unequal. Now let's go to this square. This square is separated into some unusual pieces. Let's look at each piece. Three pieces. Is each piece the same size? Think carefully. Each piece is a different size. So we say this is unequal. Did you get that one right? Let's go to the next one. We have three pieces and if we put it together, it forms a nice big red circle. Is it equal or unequal? Let me separate it for you so you can tell me if each piece is equal or unequal. What do you think? It's equal. Each piece is the same size. So we say it is equal. Well done, boys and girls. Now, pizza time. Pizza time. Here we go. We have a nice big pizza on our plate. How many pieces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of pizza. Is each piece the same size? Let me check. It's a bit hot. Mmm, smells good. Each piece is the same size. So we say each slice of this pizza is equal. Great job. We can have it later. Now, let's go for, to a challenge. Are you ready for a challenge, boys and girls? Now, let's look at this shape. Hmm. Think carefully. Remember I said it's a challenge. Is this shape cut up or separated into equal pieces? Let's see. You decide. It has four pieces. Is, it, is each piece equal or unequal? Tell me. Think carefully now. Remember what equal means and unequal. You are right. If we look at this shape, the two pieces at the top are equal. The two pieces at the bottom are equal. But if you look at the entire shape, which is a rectangle, you will see that the shape is separated into unequal pieces. Remember, each piece must be the same size for it to be equal. Let's recap some of what we learned today. We said we were going to talk about equal and unequal. Equal means that it's the same size and all the pieces in the shape or object is cut up in the equal pieces, equal shares. If you look at our diamond, you will see that our diamond is separated into two pieces. Each piece is an equal size. However, if you look at our rectangle, it's separated into two pieces just like our diamond. But our rectangle is separated into two unequal pieces. This piece is smaller than this. So our rectangle is unequal while our diamond is equal. How did you do today, boys and girls? I'm so proud of you. You did an excellent job. 
You did a wonderful job. Well done. Thank you for joining us today. See you next time.